Hello everybody, Loth here, so we're back on another episode of Ultima Admiral Dreadnoughts. Uh, this will be something new. I'll be trying out today. Uh, I'll be doing a challenge for a user named Brosily. Brosily? I'm gonna call him Mr. Frog, because of his, uh, YouTube picture, because, uh, I can't pronounce things. I'll be joining Season 2 of the contests. Hopefully all of them, if I have the time, I should, if giving proper warning. And I'll be doing a challenge if there's supposed to be only one attempt. I also said the edit, which, um, if you ever watch any of my videos, I don't do that. I don't edit, because the time it would take me to edit, I could just, like, record another eight videos. Because I have zero idea how to edit. Anyway, it's probably easy to learn, i just never done it. Anyway. Uh, the challenge so far is to design a battlecruiser, any navy, and take out an AI battleship. It's a race against time to see who can do it fastest. The best of battle. The twist is I can only use 1925 tech. I'm gonna go with a good old US of A versus. Uh. In the 1900. I'll keep it at default. I like storms in this game. It'll be morning. Your designs are off. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's any more rules on this. Just like share. No. All right. I'm back up. Uh, I'm having that like last second. Do they select everything right? Yes, I have 1925 deck and they have 1935. There's no budget restriction, so...
Now, if, the other thing in my playstyle is I usually make things pretty either small or super. And I'm going for the super angle on my battle cruiser. Now we're facing a battleship, so I won't need anti-torpedo uh, on board, but I will take flooding and citadel equipment, and that, and cup five, with a... Uh, Auto reloading and hydroelectric turrets. And the RDF radio system, meaning I'll actually be able to track it down. I'll be taking two powder for safety and TNT two three because safety. And I'll be taking light shells for safety and for more ammo with a capitalistic two and a capitalistic HE. body's breeding in terms of speed. 28 knots. So I probably need to drop it down to that, otherwise it's going to just be interesting. Doesn't matter. So I can't have the big big honking guns. But I will be getting some big guns. Probably some 15 inches. And now 15 inches. Would I put torpedoes on the ship? Probably not. How thick is my armor? Do 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 do, because this is how I kind of rate. And uh, the other thing is, what is my spotting range? 15 kilometers? That is just how far I'm going to be able to fire with these guns. They'll start shaving off the barrel. I'm increasing uh, shell diameter.
I'm overweight somewhere. What can I show you about? Yeah, with a little bit of my bulkhead and then a little bit of structure. So we have one of the we have this. We have Gyroscopic Rangefinder 4, a foot yes, four five. Which will allow us to get better long range accuracy. And then uh radio detection finder which will allow us to help us out. Sad that we don't have radar. I will be doing hyper veterans. As, uh, there is no rules again. Like uh, I'm, I'm going off of the rules here. Unless there's something I didn't see somewhere, disqualify me. I'm just supposed to kill the enemy ship as fast as physically possible. So you fire a rate of two rounds of minutes. We're using auto loaders. Do 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 do. Also, this is I think the most time I've, I've talked in most videos due to, uh, yeah. I like very fat ships with lots of stability because I'm assuming. Do do do. Where is my stability? Higher stability equal better. <laughs> I, I I remember these designs where they're like painful to look at due to they're using the side gun systems.
Now, I'm planning to try to outgun an enemy battleship with better tech than I. With no torpedoes on board. Although, I should take a look at torpedoes of this time period, just um, because I might want to bring them on board. Uh, torpedo, torpedo, torpedoes. 22 inches. Fast. What is their ranging with this? 8 kilometers. 12 kilometers. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I need to bring these. As, uh... And they go 60 knots. I'm at, yeah, no, I'm bringing these. If, if the enemy battleship gets that close, then yes, I need these. As, um, these will absolutely, if they hit, devastate the enemy ship. Again, let me shave off a little bit more superstructure. And then some aft deck. And then some more aft deck. And some more aft deck. Then some more aft deck. Then some more aft deck. Aft deck's fine. We don't we don't need aft deck, right? No. I'm not gonna look at their ship. I should have done everything right in terms of the challenge. Unless I'm stupid. Uh, she's taking a quick glance over. So. You fire as fa almost as fast as the main gun fires. That might actually be an issue. Because gun recoil. But, I think this is good enough, and, uh, let's go. Now, the reason why I put us in a storm is I like the storm. Not even, I'm not even doing this out of, out of tactical positioning. I'm doing this out of, I like stor the storms in the game. They're nice and relaxing. And I want to just relax as I murder the enemy battleship. I'm not going to try to pause or break or do anything like that. So there is no um, misunderstanding when uh, of accusatory of editing or something like that. It's still because I, I, I've stopped videos in the past in, in the middle of doing things. Although I, I never edit, so... Yeah, it's a really lucky hit I'm about to die.
I don't think I'm winning this challenge. And this was in a storm. This is also my design doctrine philosophy. Because the other thing is, uh, I'm a player that would never use battle cruisers. I only ever have battleships. Because why would I have a battle cruiser when I could have a battleship? That is my design philosophy. Yeah, there's nothing I can remember. Really they're they're two, like, 10 kilometers away. Landing all stop because they have they have full radar. And I only have no radar. I, mean, I can't even land hit. The only thing I can remotely do is run in and try to get my corpse off. That is it. That, that is no. Like, the first hit it was the identifier of, like, now, like, they can hit me when I can't see them. Yep. That is. And there's only one attempt, so. Yep. Oh. Uh, Rosalie. Did you forget that, uh, that radar is literally murder? And this is one of the reasons why we don't really use battleships anymore as well as well it's because when why would you could just really use the battleship and use a missile that could kill the battleship and also plane plane planes another real reason my battleships no, don't exist anymore so wow I spent more time building the ship than uh, fighting because even if I built the ship the other way, I, I don't think I would be able to get close. Well, I, I could have cheesed it and went for the closest range. There was no rules against that. But uh, I didn't feel like it. That just, it felt too cheesy to me. So that, I guess it'll be it for this episode, as that's my attempt. And uh, I'm not going to, you know be dishonor about this and record another episode. I only hit them like once. Is radar. As if you saw my campaigns, uh, I focus heavily rushing for radar each game. If radar is the end of, you know, not being able to hit. Radar basically makes you be able to hit all the time. Because look at the accuracy. Yeah. They have an absolute 10% accuracy on me. And that's at long range. And I only hit them with a couple eights. I didn't even get to hit them with my main gun. So it is whatever. I'll, not all your challenges are me being in light vehicles because I am... I am not remotely a, a light vehicle user in this game. Um, I only use the biggest of battleships or pocket battleships within armor cruisers that are basically mini battleships and then some destroyers and escorts. And I find light clu cruisers a waste of my time. And I can't design them as I just attempt to make them a battleship and then they die. And that's also why I don't use battle cruisers either. Although I only want to, before you got the battle cruisers, my game ended. Because battle cruisers is why would I build this? I could just build a battleship. That, that is just my design philosophy. Which it works. A lot of the, the, it works in a lot of situations. 
Uh, this is one of the situations where it doesn't work. It, I, I, you know. Anyway. Well, I hope you enjoyed that challenge video. That was not really even... That was less than like five minutes before my ship got destroyed instantaneously. Uh, check down in the in in the description. There's a bunch of links to the, all of the other uh, brain locks up other other participants in this challenge. Uh, they probably either had a lot of success or ran into the same problem where their ship got instantly destroyed. Or maybe someone started like point blank range and just used torques. I could have they they could have done that. I want to, you know, actually get close and engage, but whatever. Peace.